Hey guys, got a bit of an unboxing for you here from Gojatron. My kid, yeah, you. Everyone thinks toys are fun, but this is a channel for adults. Yeah, I said it. If you're under the age of 18, go get your parents before you come in here. If you're under the age of 13, scram. Let's get on with the show. This is a box that I knew was coming. Spoiler alert, this is not some huge surprise. There's Final Faction stuff in here, which I've been eyeballing for a while. Gojotron took it upon himself to help me out, and according to him, there's a lot of troop building in here. So although I know more or less what's in here, I don't really know how much of what is in here so, so there's going to be a surprise element to this i've never seen these figures in person and i just want to say a big big thanks to gojitron for helping me out with this generous gift thank you so much if you haven't already check out his youtube channel it's linked in the description below uh he's doing some great stuff he's still learning what his style is and so forth but i encourage you to get you know be on that ride with him so let's help him out so here's the box Here's the blade, let's get cutting. There is a lot of stuff in here. Whew. There is a lot of stuff in here. Holy cow. And although well packed, it doesn't look like you'd have to do a lot of work here. Looks like he's got each bundle with like two figures. Holy jeez Louise. So right off the bat, we've got a Steadfast and a Torn. So these are these are all hero figures from the line. The card backs are minimalistic in terms of size, but they don't skimp on art or information. This is great. Um, this is these are great looking figures. Like you know, you see the. You see videos of them, you see reviews of them, and they're like, okay, I can see why they're a dollar. But when you see them in person, in scale, because a lot of these videos have these great big close-ups of these relatively small figures, you know. Um, I mean, to me, it kind of feels like, oh, these aren't that great. But when you consider the scale and you see them in person, wow, these are great. So let's put those guys here and go for the next figure that I see. So we got a, a, a churro with the uh, Fido mech, which is beautiful and a little bit bigger than I expected. That's a great figure. Um, really cool. He's got all these holes on him to add uh, additional armor packs and stuff. Because that's the secret of the Final Faction uh, line to me, is that... They keep the cost low by making the figures somewhat minimalist, but then they also give you for a dollar these additional uh, gear packs, which in this case, Air Assault belongs to Churro. It works with all the characters, but it seems the most well-suited for, for Churro, so we're going to keep that with him. So you can build up as much as you want. If you just want the figures, no problem. You know, five bucks, ten bucks, you're good. Uh, but if you want to really dig deep, you can beef it up with different packs so we've got shift here which is a, a female character in the line which she looks great it's a really well done figure they're not using just the same body i haven't seen recycled anything yet as far as i can tell and she was packed here with um a covert ops equipment pack which is just a lot of stuff you know and when you compare it to, say, uh, well, let's, you know, Action Force. These are much larger figures, much higher level of detail and functionality. Uh, and it's a similar approach to everything where you, you get the figures, you have the accessory packs, you can mix and match and do all this stuff. Uh, this makes a lot of sense. You get a lot of value for your money, just like with Action Force. When you consider the amount of value that you're getting on a per-figure basis with something like this, uh, it, it's kind of insane. Um, and we have two more hero figures here. We've got Scope and Steel. 
which are quite nice looking figures. Some folks have compared these to say Falcon and uh, Tony Stark, which I think is fair enough. I now have to move this box so I can kind of keep tabs on these figures. Really enjoying this. This is just such a cool thing. I'm, I'm, I'm staring already at one, two, three, four, five, six figures and two accessory packs already. Bearing in mind that we're under $10 for all of these in terms of market value. Well, in, in terms of retail price, I should say. Market value is going to vary depending upon where you live, of course. Okay, so now we have the heavy arms pack, which is going to be one of my favorites. But I see a uh, I see a saw in there, and not a chainsaw, like a saw machine gun. Looks like a sawed-off rail gun and some more fanciful weapons, along with Sergeant Ruck who also might become one of my favorite characters in the line, if for no other reason than he um, he just aesthetically speaks to me. I like the big bulky guys. Reminds me of my time in the Marines or the kinds of guys that would you know, be in the unit and stuff like that. Really cool looking character. Looks like we're starting to get into the, the enemy, and I'm seeing some doubles already, which is good. I'm happy. So I'm thinking I'll stack them, you know, like cards. So we got another air assault, which is great. So we're going to keep that there. And we have our first... Nope, this is another human. Uh, this is the ACRM, the Combat Rescue Mech, which this particular one is supposedly remote piloted by um, a handicapped young gentleman. I have to watch the cartoon to really get into the lore, but... There's an ACRM. I'm hoping that I get more than one of those. Not to be greedy, but I think the ACRMs are a great troop builder in and of themselves. Okay, now we're getting into some villain characters. So, I'm okay with this. So, we've got a Synthoid and a Synthoid Weapons Pack. These are great looking characters, somewhere between, you know, Starship Troopers and uh, Krull. I get a lot of vibes from that. Alien, of course. Um, we've got some great uh, weapons and some additional accoutrement, if you will. Um, like these are additional arms, as well as, like, there's, there's these, these are basically multiple arms, not just weapon packs. So you can, like, swap out the arms for a different look and a different kind of assault. Um, really great, great looking villains. This, again, not to be, you know, broken record, but especially at the price. So we got Synthoid, Synthoid and their weapons pack, which is just alternate arms. I'm going to try and squeeze that weapons pack there because it feels like there might be a few of these coming. Another Synthoid, another weapons pack from the Khan, or is Khan? Oh, Karn. But look, but if you look at it, it looks like it says Khan. But you know, it's okay. It's okay. So we got them. What's next? What's next? Okay. So now, also from the Karn, we have a drone. Which these are amazing-looking little figures here. Really cool, like. Um, again, all the influences I just mentioned, plus a little bit of Terminator in there because they look a little mechanized. And then they have some Quake arms, which are, uh, quite interesting. It looks like, it looks like a backpack? Yeah, it's a backpack. So it fits with, with these guys, to give them a bit more of an oomph, which is pretty darned cool. And again, I'm trying to not do too much to I don't want them to overlap them too much but at the same time I gotta get them all out so oh, 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 oh. we've got the brute which look at this guy that guy takes no crap and a weapons pack that is more stock arms you know, some more of your heavy weapons, things like that. I would presume these go for most of them, but I could see the group getting a lot of use out of these larger uh, weapon types. 
So I'm just going to have to stack him over here because I'm running out of table space at the moment, which is okay. I'm starting to see hints of what is to come. So I've got another drone and another Quake Arms pack. So I can just kind of put that there and put that there, which is awesome. <laughs> And another drone with that weapons pack again. So he wasn't kidding when he said he was troop building. Carl, you, you outdid yourself, sir. Truly. Um, and once again, another brute, another shock arms pack. So looks like we've got two of every kind of Karn and their weapons packs. Uh, we've got all of the different weapons packs for the heroes including a double of Air Assault. Each of the hero figures, uh, including the Phytomech and the ACRM. But we're not done. No, sir. No, sir, no, ma'am. We got more. Because this is just that cool. We have... Oh, my goodness. Oh! We've got the Arrow ATV and the additional Battle Ready Armor Pack for it to complete this vehicle. A total of $2. This is insane. Uh, these are just... These are so cool. I mean, at the price point, how can you not think these are just insanely cool? And it looks like we have another one, which is great. So... Plenty of troop movement ahead with my two Aero ATVs and weapons and armor upgrade packs for that. These are just... I need to move this box out of the way and try to show you the scope of this. Just for the sake of illustration, this is all the bubble wrap that was used. Now remember, each small piece, which is relatively thin, housed two figures in it. That should give you an idea of what we're dealing with. We've got two Brutes, three Drones, three Synthoids, and weapons packs for each, totaling 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 packages, less than 15 bucks for all of that. It's insane. Let's take a look at the heroes. And these are the heroes. All of the characters, all the weapon packs, the vehicles behind. It's huge. So I've got all of Series 1, all of Series 2, I believe Series 2A as well. Series 2B not being out yet as far as I know. But as it is, this is an amazing set. And could be a complete collection all its own. Which I believe it will be as we move forward with Final Faction. The value of these is outstanding. The quality appears to be really on par with what I would have expected in the 80s, maybe even better. Uh, and at the price point and the variance of characters and the ability to troop build, I'm so in. And thank you so much to Gojatron. Carl, thanks for getting me started off the right way, pal. And it, it's always humbling to get a, a gift from a friend or a supporter or a peer. Um... But this is one of the few cases where I don't have any guilt whatsoever because I know he didn't break the bank to get these, which is the most compelling thing about this line. I would say go out in the wild, get, go to a family dollar, Dollar General, I believe the Dollar General, uh, get, your, get you some of these. These are amazing. You can even get them online per case. You can get whole cases of these figures. And I think that as I move forward in the series, I'm going to be seeing myself mixing, matching, maybe taking some of the figures and trying to customize a bit for troops. So the big one for me is going to be the ACRM because I do think this has a lot of troop building uh, potential where you'd have multiples of these in the wild. So I would leave this original one blue and I would probably want to paint a bunch 
red, some green, maybe yellow or gold. So you have like different fire teams and stuff like that. Um, with, you know, with this particular one being the platoon leader, if you will, I think there's a lot of room for that kind of customization in this line. Uh, I don't necessarily think that the figures have as much room for that on the hero side for the simple fact they are individual characters, but um, there's certainly potential to be had in them our hills, particularly when we look at these these weapon packs and how they can interact and create new things for them. But the sheer excitement of being able to go down the street, pick these up off the shelf or the peg for a dollar a pop, including these vehicles, is frankly just a amazing feat, I would say, in the year 2021 and the year 2022. So as I move forward, this is going to be one of my favorite lines, I think, just because there's little to no risk when you're getting these and you can have as much fun with them as you like. So I'm probably going to check out the cartoon, get these open, maybe on a live stream because you guys seem to like those and check them out. So Carl, thanks, man. Check out his YouTube channel. For everyone else, may all your card backs be straight. May all your grinds be merry. And may you be able to find anything you are looking for at a price you feel is reasonable, like a dollar. Take care, guys. I love you. Thanks for watching. Cheers.